it, it's a different kind of pressure, isn't it? I, I, I spent a few years telling people that T20 cricket is not an inferior skill to test cricket, but a different skill to test cricket. You, you're going out to bat and your, your team needs what? Okay, let, let's take an actual game. 20 for 2, chasing 190 in that game in India where you got a century in a handful of balls. Are, are you thinking, no, no, 20 for 2, we can't be 20 for 3. You're saying, oh, no, I've got to get to 190, I've got to go straight away. Oh, no, so I was lucky to have Darcy Short at the other end and he started off um, really well um, during that partnership. He was hitting the ball really cleanly. Um, I knew we had certain matchups during... Um, during the the innings that I could take down and um, you knew the way that they set up uh, their bowlers they knew Boomerah was going to come back at the end um, I think Siddharth Call was going to bowl two at the end as well so you knew that there was four overs of good quality death line to finish off you knew that they were going to attack you with spin throughout so I knew that if we targeted those overs of spin and um, were able to get I don't know 12, 13 and over off them we could, might be able to take a little bit of pressure off um, at the back end but as it turned out, we were, I think we only went up 10s against the spinners and, and still left ourselves about 40 off the last four overs. But um, luckily enough, just they missed a couple of times, which we weren't, predict, weren't um, sort of predicting on, but um, we were able to sort of cash in on that. But the whole time, I was just thinking about the, the run rate required and trying to keep up with that as well as we could and um, trying to try go back in the numbers, back uh, sort of in a backwards way, where you know what you need off the last four and, um, and try and work it back from there. You know, is, is, there, is there a pressure? Say Steve Smith's going out to bat number three, number four in a test match and people are saying, oh, okay, Steve Smith, he's going to be batting for four hours, five hours. Is there a pressure on you saying, oh, Glenn Maxwell's coming out to bat in this game, right? Let's pass on our seatbelt. Something's going to happen here. Oh, there, I'm sure, sure there probably has been at, at certain times, but I, I sort of don't take that on board anymore. It's sort of, I think it's probably the mature, maturing of me over the last few years has been a, a change of perception and, um, probably a change in consistency, I suppose, in the international T20 circuit as well. I've, um, uh, I've played a pretty consistent role for, for Australia over the last few years and been able to um, play some, some pretty good match-winning innings and, um, on a consistent basis, which you don't really associate that with middle-order players in, in T20 internationals, especially with we don't play that many during the year or throughout the year. And uh, to be able to have that little bit of consistency in a format and... Um, I suppose consistency of role as well has been nice, but um, I, I know uh, there has been a, a certain um, excitement and uns unsurety, I suppose, of, of, of fans and commentators when I've come out to bat, but um, I, I can tell you that it, it doesn't feel like that, I suppose, in the more recent times where it feels like there's a little bit more calmness and consistency about um, what I'm going to produce. I mean, there's players like like Virat Kohli, for example. You see, you see Kohli bat, you think every fielder's got a GPS and Virat Kohli's a server. He just knows where everybody is. He, know, he knows where the gaps are. You talk to Andre Russell, he says, I don't even care where the fielders are because I'm just going to head over there. What's your mindset when you're going into bat? Are you worried about where the field is, who's bowling, where can I knock a key, where can I hit over? Or are you just not worried about the field? No, I, I'm 100% I'm aware of the field. I, I, know what the, I know what they're trying to do. I sort of try and gather as much information as I can before the ball's bowled and then try and make the best judgment, try and um, work out what the bowler's trying to do to me, how he's trying to get me out or if he's trying to get me off strike. And um, Trying to think ahead of the game, I suppose, is, is my main um, way to try and score runs and, and one of my biggest advantages on the field is trying to read the game and read the opposition about what they're trying to do. And, um, I suppose in past, it, it's been a lot of leg spin, there's been a lot of short balls, so you actually get a bit of a read on, on the opposition, what they're trying to do to you, and if you can negate the first plan A or plan B, um, you can find that you can score um, really quickly and heavily against some teams. Is every ball, and we're talking T20, I know you've got a test 100 as well, you've, uh, you've had a fantastic 50 over World Cup, but we'll get, to, we'll get to there. When you're going out to bat in T20, is every ball a ball to be defended only if it can't be hit? Is the first thing, can I hit the ball only if I can't hit the ball? Let's see what to do with it. I think every ball you've got to have the intent to try and hit a boundary. So it, you've, you've always got your boundary option. So for me, my first option, uh, depending on the field, is to try and hit a boundary. So if I get a loose half volley, it's still got to be hit to the boundary or one of my pads, I've still got to be able to place it past the 45 fieldsman or the fine leg fieldsman. Um, so every every ball you've got to still think of it as a boundary option and then um, if it's not quite there then you just rein it back three two one um, 
etc. You, uh, you do that for most of the balls that you face, and then only once it becomes you need to go or you need multiple boundaries in an over, do you start to premeditate and start to try and, um, I suppose, push the button and try and go a bit harder and, and score multiple boundaries um, during the over. But yeah, at the start of my innings, I'm still looking to try and hit a boundary off every ball. It's just about adjusting if it's not quite there and then um, either getting yourself up the other end or, um, but yeah, you can't miss out on those boundary balls, even if it's the first ball.